Okay, I've been asked by a subscriber to do another one of these um, connectors with network connector for the um, junction for the function box and um, to show them and also put it in the box itself, the whole job, which I thought would probably find boring, but someone says not. So I'm going to redo this again. In the previous video, just gently score the sleeve so it just breaks slightly and then that should come off. Same with this one. Just score it slightly. I don't want to go through and damage the wire underneath. There we go. This is non shielded. These are the sockets. And you can see the color codes, you can't actually go wrong. It's okay, orange and white, orange, green and white, green, brown, brown and white, blue, blue and white. Okay, so the cable's gonna sit like that. So we'll part these two first. Like I said, I've done a video before, I just uploaded it with just uh, one of these. And we just wired up one side, but the subscriber said, could I do both sides? So, I don't mind. Okay, so untwist them. There you go. So I want it to fit like that. So, leave a little bit of space, if you can see that, punch down tool, Imitex, Imtex, All right. make sure you face the tool the right way round, so it punches it like that, so the cutter is on the outside, and there you go, it's that simple, it really is that simple. Brown and white, so put that a little bit more like that. And then we do the opposite side. So we'll go for green first, green and white afterwards. Orange, orange and white. Okay, so that's it nicely like that. Each packet comes with a zippy tie. Zippy tie, yay! And there we go. So we slide that through like so. Use my big fat hands in the way. back underneath. Mr. Snips, be careful not to cut the wires underneath. There we go. So that's one done. Okay. If you want to see the other one, I'm sorry if I'm boring you. I do apologize, but you know, I'm going as quick as I can. Okay. This is RJ40, no it's not, this is Cat5 cable, and I've got them here somewhere, they're RJ45 connectors, I've just done one earlier on how to crimp an RJ45 connector onto Cat5 cable, quite an interesting video, so zippy tie out, same again with this one. So we'll start off with, can be a bit fiddly, so brown, 
Some little perfume like that. Push him around, okay. Round. Okay. You you can't really go wrong, actually, to be honest with you. Okay, and then orange. If you can see that, orange, orange, and white. Pull that through a bit. Orange and white, orange, and then green and white, green. So green and white, green. I mean, once you get proficient at it, it should be quite straightforward. If you see what I mean. Done. So the cover just screws out. I had one did one of these the other day and um, I had trouble getting the second one in. It must have took me about 10 minutes. I think the plastics were moulded slightly different. I don't mean the zippy tie, I mean these sockets. Oh, see what I mean? Okay, so line him up. There is a way of feeding one of these in the right way around. So I'll try, I think it's that way. So you go through first, so take it through, drop it back down, in. Okay. So same again. It gets a bit awkward because you've got another cable in the way. There's the bell through, all the way through, and then back down again, and then, see what I mean? This is what we had trouble last time, and I couldn't quite, there we go, there we go, okay, so, it's up to you which way you want to do it, I did one earlier the other way, I'm just, I'm just going to have a quick look. Okay, so I like to have them symmetrical, so we edit this way. So I'm just going to bend the cable slightly. Oh, it's popped out. It's back in. Okay. So it's like twist on the cable. And there you go. Start to finish socket. Uh, thank you for the subscriber for asking for the video. I don't mind doing them. I um, actually enjoy my job immensely. My job is very varied. And thanks very much for watching. I hope this helps. Um, take care. And that's it. I'll see you in the next vid. All the best. If you'd like to subscribe, that would be great. Um, if you'd like to share, that's great as well. Or just a thumbs up. Or if you've got any questions, or you know better than, than a better way of doing it, then please do, by all means, tell me. Thanks a lot. Take care.